Hello, this is Joyce Latimer from Virginia Tech, and today we're going to talk about controlling flower stalk height in Lavender Phenomenal. And I would like to thank Fine Americas and Peace Tree Farm for supporting this research. Lavender Phenomenal is a very vigorous cultivar used for both ornamental and edible purposes. It is patented and produced by Peace Tree Farm in Pennsylvania and they actually donated the plant material for this research and the goal is to reduce flower stalk height so that we can reduce shelf height during shipping. So liners were planted in August, bulked in the greenhouse until October and then overwintered in a cold frame. The PGR treatments were applied the next spring once those flower stalks reached the height of the foliage which was early May. We had an untreated control we used 5,000 part per million dayside applied twice, two weeks apart. A tank mix of 5,000 parts per million dayside with 1,500 parts per million citadel. And then three rates of Piccolo 10XC or three rates of Concise, the uniconazole product. We measured height at two, four, and six weeks after treatment. You can see here at four weeks after treatment the effect of our two applications of Dayside or the Dayside Citadel tank mix. We still had control with the Dayside treatments but not so much with the tank mix. Perhaps multiple applications would be useful here. However, at six weeks after treatment when the plants are in flower you can see that we still have some control with the Dayside but not with the tank mix. However, both treatments delayed flower opening by about six days. The Piccolo 10XC gave less control than we expected. You can see we have some control at four weeks after treatment. If you look at those at six weeks after treatment, you can see we have very little control. However, the Piccolo 10XC had no effect on the days to open flower. Looking at concise, we've had much better control. At four weeks after treatment, all of the treatments gave us good control of the flower stalk height, increasing control with increasing rates. However, we did have excessive control with the 45 part per million spray. However, if you look at those plants at six weeks after treatment, you can see that Concise did maintain control of the flower stalk. And we have very nice control of the flower stalk height, particularly at that 30 part per million spray. However, both the 30 and the 45 part per million spray delayed flower opening by five to seven days. So in summary, Lavender Phenomenal was responsive to all the PGR treatments but the appearance of the plants and the delay in flowering did vary with the treatments. Multiple applications of Dayside or perhaps multiple applications of the tank mix would give us control but we had a delay in flowering. Multiple applications of the Piccolo 10XC would likely be required to give us sufficient growth control to be worth it. However, with at least a single application there was no flower delay. What I would really recommend would be to fine tune that concise rate for your own production conditions, starting maybe with that 20 part per million, somewhere between that low rate we used of 15 and the 30 part per million. Maybe you'll get less reduction in the flower delay, but it was a very nice looking plant. A lot of it's going to depend on your own market, what the shipping and holding time is going to be for those plants. Again, can you live with a six day delay in open flowers if, since you have the nice flower stalks? Can they be shipped green or do they, must they be in flower? Again, is that delay important to you? Just look at how this fits into your own production system and your own shipping and market and see if these can work for you. Thanks again to Peace Tree Farm for supporting the research and providing the plant material and for Fine Americas for supporting this video. Have a great day.